Marco Rubio uh, was hailed uh, as the Republican savior. Now, you guys probably know this. He, uh, he, had his, he was on the cover of Time magazine, and they were, oh, my God, Marco Rubio, he's a new, more moderate kind of Republican, and we love him so much. Um, and I've been saying all along, and there's been other people saying it as well, that, look, uh, think what you want. Marco Rubio is not the Republican savior. I mean, he's jumping out of the same clown car as the rest of these guys. Oh, what, just because he's somewhat reasonable on one issue, that issue being immigration, right? All of a sudden, he's there, you know, it's it's done. Everybody, let's not even have the race in 2016. Rubio's winning. Come on, just, just calm down. Uh, but so some smart people over at Think Progress decided to dig into Marco Rubio's background and find out just how true it is that he is the Republican savior. And let's, oh, just for purposes of this conversation here, let's take just one issue, climate change, right? So just last week, Rubio claimed that climate change is not a problem. Uh, and despite devastating extreme weather, which happened in his very state in Florida, he said, quote, I know people said there's a significant scientific consensus on human-caused climate change, but I've actually seen reasonable debate on that principle. Mm. Uh, so let's look a little bit at his voting record here. Apparently, he voted against repealing big oil subsidies to fund clean energy projects and reduce the deficit. What happened, big guy? See, I thought Republicans were in favor of reducing the deficit. What happened? And I, I also thought Republicans were against welfare. Oh, no, but when it comes to, to corporate welfare for ExxonMobil and Chevron, uh, Marco Rubio says, I, I'm all over it, man. I want welfare for corporations. What, are you kidding me? Lower the deficit? No, nah, come on. What are you, crazy? If, if, if the choices are either lower the deficit or give more money to ExxonMobil, my friends at ExxonMobil who pay me, I'm obviously going to give money to ExxonMobil. What, are you kidding me? Uh, he voted against extending tax credits for renewable energy at the same time he maintained oil industry tax breaks. He signed a pledge to Americans for Prosperity that promises to, quote, oppose any legislation relating to climate change that includes a net increase in government revenue. In any words, any government grants towards trying to get renewable energy off the ground, right? And by the way, there's a great argument to have the government do that because Big oil has a stranglehold and a monopoly on energy. So how, in a free market sense, can wind energy somehow raise to be the behemoth of big oil? It can't happen. And there's gonna be collusion from oil to try to shut off any other forms of alternative energy. So you need the government to help with grants and the like to try to get renewable energy off the ground. But Marco Rubio says, fuck that. I don't care if the penguins catch fire. I'm not voting in favor of that. Uh, he also, voted against legislation aiding home state aiding states harmed by the 2010 BP oil disaster. He was the only senator from the Gulf Coast to do so, and one year later he voted to expand coastal oil and gas exploration and issue faster drilling permits to oil companies. So what we're dealing with here is a politician who is not even just as extreme as the Republicans that a majority of the country hates, in a lot of cases, Rubio is even more extreme than those Republicans, but it gets worse. So look, you guys know, if I have an honest disagreement with somebody, right? Like I have debates with libertarians on the show all the time, and there's a lot of area where we disagree and then somewhere we disagree. But here's the thing, I never question those guys' uh, seriousness or honesty. I know I'm having a genuine discussion and we're trying to get genuine answers and we may disagree over specifics, but that's fine. It's part of being an American, right? Have some honest disagreements. But when it comes to people like Marco Rubio, no, 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 I'm not having an honest discussion or debate with him. He is just a bought off corrupt moron and probably doesn't know his ass from his elbow in terms of policy and myself or anybody with a minimal understanding of policy, would run circles around this guy. So let me show you exactly what I mean here. Rubio is a member of the Koch Polluter Caucus. He is one of five senators who received 
a perfect score from the Koch's Americans for Prosperity, and he received more of the petrochemical giant's cash than any other Senate campaign in 2010 for a career total of $32,200, according to the Center for Responsive Politics. Rubio has received nearly $260,000 in dirty energy contributions from oil, gas, and coal, with his largest contribution coming from the Coke-linked group Club for Growth. So I need you guys to understand what this means, right? When I say we're not having an honest, honest discussion, do you seriously think if I get into a conversation with Marco Rubio about the merits of which energy policy makes more sense, that he's giving me his honest opinion? and that he actually cares to address the serious problems like global warming? Or has his opinion been bought off by powerful interests that have all the reason in the world to deny all of the scientific consensus that global warming and climate change is a tremendous problem? 